Today's project is I am going to replace the lower control arms on this 1986 BMW 325 E30. Uh, the first thing I went ahead and did is uh, climbed underneath here and removed this bolt that goes through at the uh, far end of the uh, control arm up here. I used a uh, 7 8 and was able to get on there and turn this nut here out and get it off. So next step I'm going to do is jack it up here, put it on a stand um, after I loosen up these uh, tire bolts here that is, and take the tire off, get to this bolt back here and then take off this eyelet back here, the uh, lollipop rear control arm stabilizer. That one is fairly new. So it's got these uh, control arms uh, as a pair for $75 off of uh, eBay. I'll get those out. Alright, this is the uh, lower control arms. I've got them set out in place. This is for the driver's side passenger side and I also got new uh, uh, tie rod inner and outer links so I'm gonna get those put on there too make a different video for these however uh, it's pretty simple uh, to do it's just a matter of getting in there and getting it done uh, I'm gonna go ahead and jack that tire up after I get the uh, nuts loosened up on the wheel take that tire off and uh, get prepared to uh, take that control arm off on this side and Place it with this one here. Uh, also, these things came with like these uh, protective boots there to keep these things from uh, getting squashed or moved or whatever in transport. But anyway, should uh, be a straightforward fix. Should uh, help um, decrease some of the clatter I have whenever I go over bumps. I kind of have like a clatter. Uh, um, it doesn't steer bad or anything. It just kind of has like a uh, uh, vibration whenever I hit br hit the brakes and uh, get up to a certain speed. So I'm betting my uh, lower control arm uh, uh, ball joints are bad. So we'll see. Uh, I've already replaced the um, uh, wheel bearings on both sides of this thing. Um, didn't do much. Uh, the old ones weren't too bad. Uh, That'll be in a previous video here, too. I'll include all of these in a link uh, for you to click on and follow through if you're wanting to replace parts on your BMW 325. I think this also goes for, like, the 518 and several other models as well that I should be able to list in the uh, links down below. Move on. All right, got it all jacked up, as you can see here, unsupported. The uh, lug nuts are 17 millimeters. The uh, lower uh, control arm bolt down here is a 19 millimeter. And the bolt for holding on the uh, sway bar is a 17 millimeter. The top one here I was able to get loose with a uh, 7 8, but uh, from what I've read, it's a uh, actually a uh, 22 millimeter. And I think those are, I think, I don't know if those are 18 or. Nope, those are 17 millimeter for uh, these lollipop ones, aren't they? Yep, 17 millimeters for those as well. <clears throat> so I'm going to get those all removed and uh, show you what it's like with the uh, lower control arm removed from there. Uh, I probably need to replace my struts too, but I'm not doing that in this video. It's an uh, extra cost and hopefully this should solve my issue of the kind of like the rattle clunk and uh, vibration at speed. Alright, on with the video, take this off. Alright, <clears throat> I had to grab a few extra tools. My pry bar, a BFH, big fucking hammer, and one of my pickle forks here to stick inside there and hopefully wedge in there enough to pry that loose. Also, got that bolt in there removed. It's loose, and the whole thing's kind of you know, moves around and everything, as you can see here. I'm going to turn the wheel to the right so I can get down in there and smack on that thing a few times and uh, be able to hit on that as well. Got the uh, stabilizer link bolt removed. 
also. Um, once I get it all put together, I think that's what I'm going to on my uh, tie rod end. But, uh, alright, let's see what it's going to take. Should be able to hammer a few good times and knock that loose and be able to pop the rest of it loose. But first things first, turn that steering wheel to the right. Ta da! That's what it took. <laughs> Had to smack on the bottom of this a few good times, pop that lower control arm out of there, and then use my pickle fork and whacked on it a couple good times, minding the fender here. You don't want to freaking whack the bottom of your fender, so mind for that. And came right right out of there. Guess I'm gonna whack it a couple times and get it to drop loose. Bonk! There it goes. Only took once. Yeah, that is kind of loose, as you can see. And what about this one? Oh yeah. That should not be moving around like that. It can cause it to tilt back and the uh, control arm to be loose. So, glad I got that out of there. And, dang, stupid bug. <laughs> got that out of there and uh, we'll be replacing that. So. Alright, this is the uh, passenger side. Move on to the uh, driver's side in just a moment. Alright, finally got this uh, eyelet out of here. Had to bang the heck out of it with uh, my pickle fork and my big fucking hammer. And just kind of set this uh, up like that. Banged on it from that side. Flipped it around. Put it in like this. Kind of just tilted it in like that and whacked it a couple good times. And then started to move loose. Put it here in between my feet. And then pull that sucker right on out of there. That's right. Now, another trick I learned was making these things go on there can be a uh, real freaking challenge. Uh, I want it firm, but I don't want to have to fight like hell to get the thing back on there. I tried greasing it up. I tried pushing it on. I tried whacking it on with the hammer. Couldn't get it on there. Kept popping out out right here at the edge so what I did I got just a uh, reamer and just kind of ream the inside of the uh, eyelet there enough to where it's still very snug but will allow to go on there uh, all right so now I'm gonna put on the uh, put that on there get it all bolted on move on to the other side all right here we go all right, I got everything bolted on there. Again, that was a 7 8 on top of that nut back there. This one here is a 19. Down there is a 17. And those are 17s as well. A little trick I used in order to keep this uh, lower, this uh, stabilizer link locked in there was just kind of slide my uh, pry bar in there and just kind of held it in place like that as I torqued down. Uh, in the opposite direction to hold this, uh, to tighten that bolt up and everything. And I lifted uh, the lower control arm j up just enough with the uh, jack here to allow that to slide right in. Remove this, put my wheel back on, and go on to the other side. So, that's what we're going to do now. All right, well, I think I found my clunking problem. I knew it was coming from this side. Uh, as I d diagnosed earlier, I grabbed a hold of this uh, bottom uh, control arm here and uh, kind of tweaked it back and forth with a um, uh, channel locks. And this here would kind of like move in and out. See how loose that is? You definitely do not want that that. So, we're going to get that taken off down here and uh, put on new uh, tie rods as well. Boy, that one's pretty loose itself here as well. That's pretty flimsy also. So, we're going to get a new one put on there. Firm this all up. Turn it back into the rocket ship on rails like it is. So, Alright. Alright. After fighting with it and hammering it and messing with it there for a minute finally got everything off and done um, 
see how this goes back on there. And it'll go back on there like that. That'll kind of give you an idea as to where that's uh, where that's mounting up at. And then know how to screw it onto the next one. But uh, yeah, it looks like my uh, ball joints were pretty loose. That may uh, kind of explain my uh, rattling I'm having at certain speeds because the uh, ball joints just can't keep things uh, where they need to be. This is loose. They're all pretty much loose. So, getting them replaced. Let's uh, take these clips off here and uh, get this side of the um, tie rod off as well. Get this thing all bolted back together and take it out for test drive and see if I've fixed it. Gosh, I hope so. Done a lot of work to this thing. Uh, but, you know, we'll get it done eventually, one way or another. Yeah, doing this sometimes can be tedious. One half turn, flip it, turn it the other way. Flip it, turn it, move it, flip it, turn it, move it. Oh yeah, great times. But it's moving along. <clears throat> Take a break from that for a minute. <clears throat> Everything else is hooked up. Got the eyelet put on the uh, passenger side. Got the uh, bottom bolt connected for the uh, one going into the strut and the spindle. Got to still tighten up my uh, sway bar link there. Put the uh, jack underneath there and lift that up so I can tighten that in there. And uh, got this all tightened down. Keep working at it. Yep, so I went ahead and tightened in the uh, bolt for the uh, inner tie rod with my monkey wrench here. Then uh, kind of just measure the uh, area for how long and deep I'll want this here. I'll probably still have to check my toe whenever I get everything hooked back in. But uh, screwed that in there and tighten this clamp in to keep it secure so it won't move. And uh, now I'll just have to push this in place and uh, pop that in. Boom. Almost done now. Cool. All right, done. Got everything bolted back in there and tightened in place. All I got to do is just sit on the lug nuts, take the jack down, and take it out for a test drive, and then uh, I guess I can come back and test my uh, toe. What I do is I just take a uh, take a um, tape measure from uh, here to the uh, other side on the other tire in the very front, and then I come back. To the back measure in the same place from the front to back there and then uh, just take the difference of those and uh, get the front set uh, uh, to if the front is a uh, number is lower than the back one then the toe, they gotta be towed out so anyway that's uh, for a whole nother video but for this one I am done got the uh, inner and outer tie rods done got the lower control arms done also recently did the um, wheel bearings on this as well so should be uh, pretty firm and drive perfect motor and transmission run great in this thing just had a little bit of looseness uh, with the suspension so so to fix it all right guys stay tuned if you got any questions comments or even concerns leave me a comment in the comment section down below right yeah and I will help you answer your questions so let me know what's up later